No, I want you to show it. Yes, show it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Some because for some reason my name is not really giving much effects. Still kind of is, but there's not much more I can do about it. This isn't a very fast bike for sure, like I'm going 80 or so.
I need to move this out of the sunlight so I could actually read it. Because I have my chat on my phone and it's currently in the sunlight. When my second screen's in the sunlight, but there's nothing on there that I need to read. You know, this bike is not fast at all. I can't even really lane split with this thing. Now this building doesn't actually have a locker room, so I'm just going to use the armory. Oops. Probably be more beneficial if I scroll this way. Yep. I don't think I've taken out one of these in a while. Let's get a polisher off of it. Um,
weather extra sunny. We're gonna start this off strong. I'm gonna throw off the seatbelt because this might end bad. Yep. Oh shit. They're already lighting me up. I do apologize for the lag, not much I can do here, but now we're chasing somebody through the woods. The last suspect. And they're going pretty far up, so. And they're armed, so I'm not going to ditch the rifle to be put in a more vulnerable position. No, he's doing Sometimes the, the, the day isn't the day. Sometimes they just have bad recording days. parallel to me now because I can't get up this there you go to get where he is now I guess I would get that in straight I don't know because if you keep heading straight you're not going to head over to where he is you're still parallel
No, it's gonna be a journey to get back down. No, I just hear you. <sighs> They're down. Now here's the next part. Getting down. Oh no. No one will fall down. Surprisingly, I did not take that, like, the, the, the car got lit the shit, mostly the windows, but I did not take any fire. And I wasn't trying to use that truck as cover, that semi, I was trying to get up there so I can intercept them. I felt kind of bad having them shoot at that semi truck, too. So this is a class uh, D for uh, corporals and up. So all the way until lieutenant. Uh, this character is a staff sergeant, so this would be her class D. Obviously, lieutenants and up can wear these. There's nothing stopping them, but it is. Um, it is required for you to wear black on black. So the black cargo pants and the uh, black t-shirt here. Same with the uh, um, deputy and higher class D. It is required to wear uniform pants with that. A lot of people think it isn't. It is required. Um, and I'm putting out a reminder about that. At some point as well. I forgot to do that earlier. Yawn. You're jogging in high heels. The hell. I would not take your dog for a walk through the forest in high heels. But I'm not you apparently. Back at the truck. This thing took a couple of shots. Getting a screenshot, especially since I don't know how long this stream's gonna go if I'm just gonna be lagging the whole time. I do not know why the frame rate is so bad. I might try uh, restarting the game if it keeps it up, but until then. Honestly, restarting it might not be a bad idea because it took me a while to set up more than usual. I started the stream later, so the setup time feels shorter, but it took me a while to set up, so maybe restarting it, because I was just sitting here for a long time, so maybe that's what did it, I don't know. I don't, I don't think a restart's going to make much of a difference, but I don't know. Because we're only uh, 20 minutes in, and it's been pretty much... Bad the whole time. Yeah, I might try a quick restart, see if that fixes anything. If not, we'll move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to try a quick restart, see if this fixes 
it so we don't have a horrible stream for the whole damn time. No idea, like, frame rate loss 100, 100, 100, like, I don't know why it's doing that. <sighs> I do notice people when they uh, follow and I try to get that notification out as fast as possible. A lot more people have been following lately. If I forget you by the end of the stream, I'll most likely post you on the next stream. But I, I do I do notice you guys following. I don't typically do people's names because I'm going to butcher them. But I do appreciate everybody that follows. No. No. Hmm. Talk back into it. Yeah, the, the setup stuff does take a minute, um, but it honestly doesn't take horribly long. Um, I will probably possibly stream tomorrow. I don't know. I have a test I need to work on, so that might take up time depending on what happens. It's all a give or a take. I did say I would do one more during the week, if not Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. So that's this one that I promised. I was going to stream Sunday, and then I never got around to it. Uh, or never even really felt like doing it. Uh, I was on, but I wasn't on very long. Like The last time I was on on Sunday was uh, like... 10 minutes or something. There's a few things I need to do before I unshow. Well, show my screen, not unshow. That's not the right word. So. That is a uh, password stuff. Make sure people aren't doing. Uh, where's the live screen? There we go. There we go. I'm a random peg, but this is normal. Where is she? I know she's going too slow. Though. Here we go. That's E. So, player loadout is number three for the body armor is required. Um, well, there's already a red dot on my screen. That's, that's me. Well, let's grab a car and check it out. Um, so, what were we in the 06? I think we're in the 06. Let's go with that. I don't like having the dash cam stuff on. The dash cam stuff is uh, basically a hot bar for uh, recording, like with Rockstar Editor and all that. And it's nice, but it's not nice for me because I could just live stream if I found an inch. That's my dash cam. Or dash, dash cam, body camera. Okay, 06. On vehicle literally on vehicle on the way down to on vehicle personal. 
Oh, oh shit. I did not mean to bump that guy. Uh, but we're gonna see what this is about. Ooh, got a little bit of air. The old six is usually... She's usually a heavy girl, so... What the hell was that? So a lot of people screaming. It's probably an accident or something, but I don't know. Patriot Canyon. Um, also, we do have a, a zone protocol now for the department, and I'll go over that in a minute. Um, but we are going to be, yeah, it looks like an accident, uh, doing a zone protocol. So I'll probably pick a zone for a live stream and then work in only in that zone if possible. Obviously, there are limitations and there are going to be chances where you leave that zone but that is what it is also a uh, certain subdivisions are going to be in uh different zones more than other subdivisions like wildlife are going to be in the zones that cover this area uh for example the area that we're in right now is like zone 10 which is this entire mountain range and then 11 is like los santos freeway palomino freeway all that so yeah, these are some twins here. Oh. All right. Drugs. Oh, you're on meth. No wonder your buddy ran. You're under arrest. Sorry. Lady, I'm going to do things if you do not shut up. I know you do. Puppy in the car. You know what? I'm putting up a speed zone because I thought I would only be out here for a few minutes, but clearly this is going to get bigger, so. Zero. 80, life, uh, his buddy's long gone, and not really my problem at this point, if he wants to run because he's on something, that's fine, both cars look damaged, but not to the point where they're critical, you're good, should have asked for his license, oh, I, again, I'm not too worried about this. I got the guy that's on drugs and just clean up the street and move on. It could have been the driver that fled, honestly. But I'm not too worried about this. There we go. I'll probably run across one of these calls again. Probably handle it a bit differently. I just got back in and I wasn't really finished setting up, so I'm not too worried about the other guys right now. Ironically, I don't think I was done setting up with that armed guy's call. Um, but I did do it regardless. Okay, so the radar's up. Up. Bike menu is ready. You're on duty. You don't have gas. That is not biggest priority. Let's go to bowling block. Yeah, circle around and go down to the highway itself. Or Sonora Road. I'm not going to take Patriot Canyon all the way down. Um, but, so, the entire map of GTA has been divided into ten districts. Not evenly. Uh, the districts get smaller, uh, like District 1, 2, 3, 4. District 1 for 9 is in Los Santos County. District 10 through 15 
So I apologize, not 10 districts, uh, 15. And by districts, I mean zones. So there's 15 zones and one for 15. So 10 for 15 is in Blaine County and one through nine is in Los Santos. So that means nine. So there's nine spots, which are much more smaller than the five spots in the county. But they it makes sense. Um, you would be more spread out in the county and I can assign more people to a single district in the county than I can to uh, the districts in the city because some districts like district, I believe one or two, no, one is the airport, just the airport, two, I think two is like uh, little souls right above it and stuff like that. I have a zone map for the department. And I have a patrol roster. Um, today I made an announcement early this morning. Well, not early this morning, more like 11 o'clock. Uh, that um, anyone that does not wish, like doesn't tell me their zones by the end of the day, gets assigned them. And currently I've assigned people those. And if they tell me by the end of the day, I'll, I'll change it. I did mix up one person, but I fixed him almost immediately. Um, Um, but currently people are just going to be, and then there's also daily assignments. The assignment, the, the ones you choose are basically your top four choices, two for the county, two for the city. Um, and I have done this zoning assignment in different servers and it seemed to work out very well. Um, and again, like I said, the zone assignments will also depending on what division you are or subdivision you are, is depending on what zone assignment you might be given. For example, if you are traffic, I am not going to put you in Sandy. I'm going to put you in the zone assignment that covers the highway. Um, uh, another example is if you are, uh, I missed my turn, but if you are a uh, game warden, I'm not going to put you in Sandy. I don't know why I'm bringing up Sandy a lot. I'm going to put you in Mount Chiliad area, in that wilderness area, or up towards the vineyard, those areas. Now, some zones are going to be boring as hell. Um, but keep in mind, just because you picked those zones doesn't mean that that's going to be our AOP that day. and doesn't mean that you have to... Uh, that you will never be able to leave your zone assignment. It, it just won't happen like that. Um, so, depending on the circumstances, say there is no action going on in your zone. Okay, I will move you out and put you in a different one. But with 5PD, you can pretty much have action wherever you go. So, keep that in mind as well. Um... But, no, I, I totally understand that with zone assignments, it is very, very hard sometimes. You're like, I don't want to pick the boring assignment. Trust me, if, it, if nothing's going on, I'm not going to assign you to a zone where nothing's going on. Um, and we don't need services there. Um, I, that, and that's going to be up to any supervisor to make the judgment call. Do we need people there? Do we not need people there? If we don't need people there where do we need them type of thing and um that is 100 percent up to the supervisor the highest ranking supervisor on watch typically shift command but it could be any supervisor um to make those assumptions and assign people equipment um so if AOP is like, it says AOP County right now, technically it should say like Blaine County, uh, but AOP County means Blaine County, then yes, we have five zones to cover. But if there is nothing going on in say zone 11 and no one ever goes over there and you're not getting any 5PD calls or doing any 5PD traffic, then we will 
take people out of 11 and throw them somewhere else. I'm not going to force you to stay in a zone. I also gave you the option to choose two, which typically, if you were smart, you would choose two, one zone where there's decent activity and one zone where there isn't a lot of activity. If you choose two active zones, well, the only problem with that is your chances of getting those zones all the time actually diminish. All right, this call is not going to load. Um, the reason the reason I say that is, for example, if everyone chose zone 12 and 15, zone 12 is Harmony and Sandy and the area in between, and zone 15 is Grapeseed. If everybody on the server chose 12 and 15, obviously I'm not going to give 12 and 15 to 5 LEO and put one guy in zone 14, which is Polito, um, for no reason. So if you choose the higher end, busier zones, congratulations, but you are actually less likely to get assigned those zones or told to go to those zones on a daily basis because um, you chose the busier zones and um, I'm not going to throw all my resources in the busy zones if I can help it. I, I am going to spread people out. The zoning map is just something that we are not going to follow to the letter but we're going to use as a device to spread people out if we assign somebody an area they will should relatively stay in that area so we can be spread out that is that is the whole purpose of it i'm not making it where i'm forcing you to stay there and you can never leave but i am trying to make it where not everybody is just sitting on um, Algonquin next to the 24-7 shit. Holy crap! That that was that was epic. That was that was fucking insane. Um, but that's pretty much what it is. I'm using it as a temporary guide to spread units out and to give them a relative area to patrol. I'm not forcing, and I will, and I'm going to make this clear when I start enforcing the map itself to supervisors. That I am not enforcing the zone strictly. If there's an emergency call, or there's something going on, or you even accept a uh, a um, call of shots fired, whatever you want to call it, a five PD call, and you accept one in the zone and you accept it and it goes out of your zone i'm not going to stop you from responding to it but i'm going to tell you to do two things one the officer that's assigned that zone if there is any ask them to join you because that's their zone that's their responsibility and two keep in mind it would be vice versa it, it would be vice versa. So if um, there was a shooting in your zone and somebody else, I don't know why, pulled the window key, uh, called it out and said they're going to it, they need to invite you because it's your zone. Um, so also, if you're a supervisor, the zoning is less and less apparent. If there is a supervisor call in a completely different zone on the other side of the map, 
you're going to that. It does not matter um, if that's not your zone. It's a supervisor call. You're going to go wherever you're needed. Uh, so supervisors will go wherever you need And again, I will explain this. I might even make a zoning channel or a zone channel where I announce what zones people are assigned, blah, 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 blah. I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to explain to the community what exactly transpires and how this works. Um, but it's kind of just a guide to get people to spread out. So people are not all grouped up in Sandy, and people are not all grouped up in Grapeseed, and people are not all grouped up in Polito, but they're spread out. In emergency calls and other situations, obviously they can all converge on each other. I'm not going to stop anyone from doing that, but this is for patrolling. When nothing's going on, when stuff is going on, yes. You're going to be in those areas. And this is also the stop. Say you pulled somebody over and you don't need seven people to be there for one traffic stop. You would only need like one. Um, now, if it's a high risk stop, obviously you need more people. But this is also to prevent um, 70 people from going and uh, joining the traffic stop. Uh, and this is to prevent, um, you know, gaps in the patrol roster. So, civs can't just go, oh, no one ever goes uh, grapeseed, so we're going to all go to the grapeseed and do all the illegal business there. Because it will have the opposite effect of you always doing in Sandy. Because if no, if civs find out, oh yeah, cops never go to grapeseed, and they all go to grapeseed, then you never, ever and you're like, oh, why is it so dead? That's because all the criminal activity is going on in Grapeseed. So that's also to deter that as well. So there's multiple reasons why I'm doing this. That is one of them. Currently, we're at the 40 mark. If we get to the 50 mark and I'm still having this ferocious lag, I'm going to cut it off. Maybe turn off the computer. Let it sit for a bit and try this again. I do apologize. Normally, at least recently, it hasn't been as horrible as it normally is. And this is just probably just a bad day to do it. But, um, I do, uh, beyond me rambling about the zone system, it's definitely going to be very complicated and hard to understand. And, before I start enforcing it, I want supervisors to be aware of how we're going to enforce it. It's not going to be a tooth to nail. If you're assigned to Zone 12, you can never leave Zone 12 no matter what. It's going to be, that's where you are patrolling when nothing is going on and you are not needed anywhere else. That's how I'm going to explain it. And I think that's what I should have started with because that sounds a lot more simpler than whatever the hell I just said. If nothing is going on and you are not needed anywhere else, that is where you are going to be patrolling. That is what that means. Um, and to get officers and even the server familiar with uh, the zone system, I'm going to start doing where I will choose a zone for a uh, patrol if it's a live stream or a half an hour or something like that in mainly stick in that zone some zones are harder to stay in than others the city is going to be challenging to stay in your own zone because with the city it is very hard Actually, sorry, it is very easy to cross that border or that threshold into the next zone. Especially since some zones like zone, don't, fuck, uh, zone 7. Zone 7 is Del Perro and Vespucci Beach. So just 
all of this. Like, this is all Zone 7. Like, Bay City Ave and past that, or uh, the Vespucci Station and past that, is a completely different zone. This is all part of 6 here. Uh, this whole area here is 6. And then this uh, Rockford Hills and all that, I believe, is part of... I want to say 8, but I'm pretty sure 8 is this upper bit. Um, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. I believe this is part of either 8 or 5. And then uh, 9 covers this area, which is Vinewood and Mira Park. Uh, 6 is the downtown part here, which is just downtown, which is in between all of these highways here and La Mesa here. Um, this is 2, which is all South Los Santos, Davis, Grove, El Angel, everything like that. That's all 2. This is 1, and the port is number 3. And then number four is uh, this area over here. Um, this is relatively. I'm not exactly lining them up perfectly. Then, like I said, it does get more complicated as you look upwards. Um, so zone 10 is one of the biggest zones, and it covers pretty much past Chumash here. All of this, all of the hills and everything up here and it kind of stops at uh, 68 and then zone 13 is the military base and then this side of Colothia Trail I think it actually goes up to maybe close to the lumber mill 14 is all easy 14 is Polito and then the surrounding mountain range 15 is right below 14 here and it's literally just grape seed um, 12 is all of Sandy, uh, cuts off at 68 here, uh, where 68 approaches, takes all of Harmony, takes all of this, and then does a circle like that. So, it's pretty much all of Sandy, Harmony, Grapeseed. Sorry, not Grapeseed. All of Sandy and Harmony, and then, you know, the Grand Snore Desert and all that. Then, Zone 11 is all of Sonora Freeway and I believe bits of Palomino Freeway all the way down to the city. So it's much bigger. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing. There are connections where I didn't link up, but that, that that's pretty much what it is. So the zones are drunk fight hands drunk drive at once. Quite interesting. Um, the zones aren't... Well, they are set in stone, but the zones do, as you can tell, on the map parallel with the two counties. And as I stated, zones uh, 9, which I think I mixed up 9, 5. Zones 9, 1 for 9 are in the city. And when I mean 1 for 9 are in the city, I, I consider the cutoff for uh, Blaine County and Los Santos County to be... Closer to here, and then take all of the Vinewood Hills and cut off here, then uh, what it says on our map, which is 68. And I'm not going to have a huge deal if there's overlap with the two counties. So, yes, um, 9, uh, yes, 10 and uh, 12 and all of those kind of overlap with... Uh, 68, but I'm going to find that as in that's all right. So,
So yeah, the zoning system is going. It sounds complicated, but at the end of the day, it's to enforce where you're going to be when nothing's going on or you're not needed anywhere else. Obviously, if a major scene goes off, such as a pursuit, shots fired, or a uh, 5PD call that enters out of your zone, you can leave your zone. I'm not going to be pissed for people leaving their zone relatively. Now, if you're just leaving your zone to get better calls, if you're just leaving your zone because nothing's going on, that's different. You have to have a reason to leave your zone, which, I mean, that, that, that that's kind of it. You have to have a reason to leave your zone. Uh, a big one is arrests. Um, if you have to make an arrest and you made the stop or whatever in your zone and you have to bring them to a station that's outside your zone, obviously I'll let you. So well, Arrests are a big one. But um, it, it's going to be something that's going to be interesting to enforce and interesting to bring onto the server. It's just going to try... Its main goal is just to spread people out. It is not trying to restrict people. It's trying to spread them out. So I'm not going to have a heart attack if there is a pursuit. And then all the LEO join in. For one, our average patrol has about three to four LEO active at one time. So having three to four LEO on a pursuit is not bad. Now, later down the road, if we're a server and we have 5, 10, 20 LEO on, yeah, I'm going to want you to spread out a bit more, and I'm probably going to say don't show up to every call, but this is just to spread people out. So, um, And I'm going to say it only goes into effect when we have three or more LEO on. Uh, when you have under free LEO on, it is really hard to uh, enforce that. If you only have two, they're just going to go where they want, and I'm not going to really enforce much. Off also, often, if you have under two LEO, the AOP is typically, well, even if it's not written out that way, is typically... Sandy Shores or uh, one area. So splitting people up that way is just stupid. I'm not going to say you have South Sandy, I have North Sandy. That's not, that's, that's, I, I'm not going to do that. Um, but yes, there is a system where this is designed when we have more LEO and they should be spread out more to cover more areas. This isn't designed when me and one other person is on. That, you, you can't really change. Because, um, honestly, when me and one other person is on, we tend to either gravitate towards each other or gravitate away from each other. Um, I, I, I've seen both. I've And in a patrol. Uh, there was one time where we were trailing a guy because he did something a bit jank, but we weren't going to pull him over yet. And then something else happened. So I went after that and lit up a guy. And he stayed on him. And eventually he just turned off from him and he ended up in Grapeseed. So I have found that with two LEO on, that does happen. But um, this, again, is going to be designed for... Uh, free or more LEO on at a time, and its only and its purpose is to spread people out, not to restrain them. So, I when I say enforce, I don't mean, and I'm going to make it abundantly clear in this video. So, if people have issues, I'm going to literally tell them to rewatch this video. Um, when I say enforce, you simply, um stay there if nothing is happening and do not need it anywhere else but i'm kind of tired of saying that and i'm pretty sure everybody else would be as well so let's go deal with a stone police card
Um, it's kind of like real life, though. Uh, my town has patrol assignments where they divide the town into three different parts. Now, those officers are obviously allowed to leave those parts if stuff happens, but they're going to primarily be there. That's what I'm getting at. This guy is hot butter, so I gotta really... The only problem with this Tahoe is it's pretty slow. Um, you cannot put any engine mods on this thing. And it can get up to 100 if you're really cooker, but... Typically, on that's a straight shot downhill type of thing. You're not getting that fast in a normal pursuit or chase. She was not built for speed. Most of the Tahoes weren't, but still. The other two Tahoes can definitely outclass this one. No problem. Ooh, shit. I moved out of the way, and he got in my way. This Vic is... Pulling on me real bad. There we go. I don't know how the hell I miss a fir uh, the first shot with this shotgun, but I did. I missed the first shot with this shotgun. There it is. All right, let's search him. I'm not going to bother having him cross the freeway because that would be suicidal for me and him. Because you are liable for a prisoner once he's in your custody. So I'm just going to get transport out here. Sadly, I'm going to have to chicken walk across this, which is great. But at least you are. I think after this I'll probably end it. 
Uh, we've been going for an hour. And yeah, the uh, stream's been pretty laggy the whole time, but nothing I could really do. Sometimes you just have bad streaming days. So. Come on. Here we are. Don't die, don't die, don't die. We did not die. So we were... I do appreciate everybody that's joining in and everybody that, uh, Followed, etc. I uh, I do apologize for coming a bit short today. Just today has not been our day with the uh, lag and everything else going on. Um, I will attempt to stream tomorrow. No promises. I do have a test I need to take. I did come home early to take that test, but then I found out that I might it might be more beneficial to 